Khan Awad. I'm going to be teaching you uh, a course uh, about uh, business and personal finance. The name of the course is uh, Business Mathematics. Okay, so this course uh, is going to be uh, for students of grade 11 and 12 only. Grade 11, 10 and 9, they cannot take that one until they get to grade 11. So uh, this is a non-external course. So there is no external exams that you need to take uh, for it. So only exams that you take in the school and finals in the school, right? So uh, there's like, a, just to make sure there's no ACTs, there's no APs for it, okay? So the, but this course is very, very important for students who are uh, thinking about taking a, a business major in, in college, uh, a finance course, and, and also remember I teach an accounting course. So those two courses, they're going to be very, very beneficial for you guys. So if you could, you could take both of them, uh, you could take the finance course and the accounting course. Uh, so for now, let's talk about it as if you're majoring in business. This is going to be very beneficial. So I'm going to give you an idea about the course itself. The course itself, it talks about, there is like 12, 12 chapters in it uh, that we take then, uh, but it's not the, the whole, it's not the whole book. The book itself, it has more chapters than that. Uh, let me show you how many chapters that the book itself has, 19 chapters. Probably we're going to be taking 12 of those chapters. Uh, if we have, you know, if the time allows us, we'll probably take more, more of that. So, but like in general, in general, those are your, your core, your, your uh, chapters that you're going to be taking. You're going to be talking about gross income. There's no details in them, by the way. I mean, just to give you an idea. Uh, the details are not that, uh, you know, uh, much, uh, as much as, as more as of knowledge. They're showing you what a course is and what uh, you could benefit from. You could, for example, here, you're talking about checking accounts. Saving accounts, so a lot of students from the years before they didn't know how what such checking account is. So this is going to teach you uh, the basic ideas about uh, those things: uh, net income, gross income, uh, purchases, uh, how much you pay for them, how much interest on it, and uh, how much you you pay taxes, for example. And if you want to buy a, a home or a car or something like that, you could you could you get a, get a loan from a bank and. Uh, uh, also, if you want to use your credit card, they show, this course will show you the charges that you, you get on your credit card, how much you have to pay, how much, you know, the, the owners of the stores, they have to pay. Uh, also, uh, look at this one here. They're talking about, this is usually interest the students, the vehicle transportation here, we're talking about buying old cars or, or the new cars or used cars. Uh, how, uh, how can we find the actual price for those cars? by using something called in, in the states we call this uh, the blue book uh, so there's a blue book that tells us you know if you want to buy a car it's not like by guessing there's details of how much they're going to be costing you to buy also we're going to be talking about <clears throat> if you're buying a house the cost that involves in buying a house besides the price of the house itself we still have you know the act the, the we, something called we call it closing cost um also, we're going to be talking about investments. Investments here, very important. Insurance, sometimes I skip insurance, but investment is very important. Most of my students, they like the, this chapter about investment because we talk about all the investment that you, it, comes, it comes to mind uh, from, from stocks uh, to buying uh, bonds uh, to buying, uh, for example, businesses, to buying homes, renting a home. That's all our investments that you could do. Okay. Like I said, there's not too much details as much as knowledge. There's a lot of knowledge, but not a lot of details in it. Uh, and we keep on going. We talk about sales, marketing. Uh, notice that here, you know, you have marketing involved. Remember, if you are a business major, you're going to be involved definitely. Marketing is part of your, your, your business major. And also your accounting is part of the, the business major and the finance. And then you have economics, for example. But economics, it, it's, it's being given to you guys by... Uh, a course by itself by another teacher. So those, anybody who is, my advice, if you are a business major and you're thinking of going to a business major, take economics, take accounting with me, take finance with me. And there's a lot of courses that we offer here in the American school. Most of other schools, to my knowledge, they don't offer all of those courses. So we are, you know, at least, at least we are, we're, we're, we're benefiting everyone from, from, from students who want to be in the field of business we have enough classes for that and if you are in, an engineer or you want to be a doctor also 
you know, we could we could help you out with some of my our classes in our school that will cover uh, that 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 uh, uh, requirement. So now, even here, notice that there's I have a, a chapter about accounting itself. So I mean, uh, imagine there's a course of accounting that has 29 chapters in it, and there's one chapter here talks about accounting. So that's what I was telling you that it's a brief. Uh, it, it's a, a, a quick and a, just to give you an, a knowledge of what we're going to be doing. So it's it's an easy course, by the way. Uh, a lot of students they like it because it's not that complicated, uh, easy for them to understand. And even if they don't know those things bef from before, but you know they're easy to to comprehend and uh, to enjoy. So those are the sections in each chapter I mentioned. Remember I mentioned the chapter, for example, gross income, what goes in it. For example, how much, you know, when you are paid per hour, uh, what's an overtime, how do you calculate the overtime? Uh, if you are working for a company that, uh, uh, let's say, makes suits or something like that, and you get paid uh, for, for uh, you know, per suit for making or a table or a chair, for example, and you get paid piecework. That's what we call the piecework. Uh, salary, everybody probably knows what the salary is, what you, you, what you earn at the end of the month. And commission, we have something called commission. Commission, some of you, you know, some of the students last year didn't know what a commission is. Some, they didn't. So we have also, we're going to be talking about commission. So you, you notice something from the chapter one. There's a lot of important things in life that you really need to know. So later on, after you graduate, you're probably going to be going to college. You might be working while you're in college. So it's good to know all those things. So, and here we, we continue with the net income. And we're, we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, keeping track of our uh, our expenses, budgeting, uh, checking accounts, deposits uh, from withdrawing money to deposit money. Uh, you have also saving accounts. There's a difference between saving and, and checking account. There's a simple, you know, it's not a bit, huge difference, but there's some difference between them. And uh, we will continue up to, I, you know, usually we, I finish up to chapter uh, eight, term one. So term one usually covers up to uh, chapter eight, and ch uh, term two usually we start from chapter nine, uh, and then we'll continue uh, to our best uh, with most of the chapters. We probably need, we skip some chapters just to make sure that we cover the most important ones because you're talking about 19 chapters. Also, it's hard to cover 19 chapters uh, in one year. Okay, so that's the whole story about uh, this course. And I hope I'm going to see you uh, uh, next year, which is next month in this case. And uh, we'll have fun and we'll, we'll in, we'll, we will learn and enjoy uh, the class with, with each other. Okay, guys, talk to you later and see you. Bye-bye.